Thanks for that, Fran. And now we're back at the end of my advanced training day, where it's time for me to face the music and see how I actually did. So then, Gary, I can take it. Go on. Tell it's me how fun. it went. Well, I thought it went very well. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Really? Um, and to be honest, with the job you're holding down, if you can't ride a motorbike to a reasonable level, then it's a miracle you survive this long. Um, lots of good stuff. True. Lots of no. planning. That's what I like about it. It does flow. It was yeah. a bit ragged in the early part of the day, but, but right. yeah, towards the end, it was really flowing well. Yeah. All the bends linked together. The whole ride looked like it was meant to be, but you were you know, really putting your mind to it. But all the stuff that we would look for, the mm. planning, uh, the safety margins. Yeah. Um, the, I mean, there's some cracking overtakes. Really nicely right. planned. And just silk past vehicles without, you know, without any interruption to your flow. And that's what's really hard to do. Um, but you could only do it because you're seeing things a long, long way down the road. And you're, you're making sure that when you arrive there, you've gone through all your little checklist, you know yeah. what you're doing, and the, and the bike just goes. Beautiful to watch. Thank you very much. Cheers. So there you have it, advanced training. Absolutely, perfectly a wonderful way to spend your money. Not especially expensive, a very good fun day out using your motorcycle on decent roads, provided you've sorted it out with a good company that you like the look of, and you never stop learning. It does sound a little bit anorak, it could be a little bit stuffy, but the bottom line is it will make you a faster rider, but a safer rider as well.